Hello, beloved, and welcome to the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest lotto. If you're keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us step into this energy and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube, YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us talk to God. Let us tap in. All right. Before we even tap in here, I'm hearing a lot of um, moaning here. energy I'm channeling that's the energy coming through a lot of moaning so this speaks of a lot of sexual activity right group sexual activity because I'm hearing multiple women I'm seeing multiple men engaging in sexual activity with multiple women Let's tap into this energy and see what this is about here. Let's tap in and talk to God. What is this energy about, Father, Holy Spirit? We have the Five of Pentacles here. We have Capricorn energy with the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy with the King of Cups. And then we have the Page of Wands. I'm being called to take it um, reversed. This is Aries energy. I'm smelling a strong cologne here. Like, first, I feel like, beloved, you're dealing with a man that doesn't lack financial stability, they don't lack finances, they don't lack money. Let's tap in here, let's see. We have the Eight of Wands, we have Sagittarius energy here. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have Taurus energy here. We have the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy again with the Hermit, the Virgo energy. And then we have Leo with the Strength. So here's what I'm seeing here, beloved. I feel like there is someone who is stuck up on the experience of you. But I think this has nothing to do with the sexual activity, sexual engagement of you and this person. They're not stuck on your sexual energy or anything like that. It's not about sex. But this is someone here who is a sex addict. But you caught their eye in a different way. I feel like you are engaging with this person spiritually. I feel like this is the type of man that is used to women throwing themselves at them, women wanting money from him, women wanting everything from him, women loving him, being dependent on him, embracing him. And I feel like you, you are the one woman that doesn't see anything in this man. You don't want this man. I feel like you want nothing to do with this man. And this is what they don't want to accept. They're in this five of pentacles energy about it. I feel like this is a man that is in the age of like this money don't even feel like nothing. This this wealth don't even feel like nothing. These cars don't even feel like nothing. Because I want this woman. I want this woman, man. I feel like this is what they're feeling. This is what they're saying. But I feel like it's 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 more like inner thoughts here. It's not what they're saying. It's inner thoughts. And I feel like this is a man that goes to brothels frequently or often. You know, they love that Harlem house. They love Harlem's. And they're ashamed of that. But like, because of you. 
It's not that they're ashamed of it in their identity, who they are as a man, like, I shouldn't be doing this, I should preserve my energy for myself, or someone that actually matters, or I should find a different way of living, or maybe this is messed up, or maybe this is why I can't settle down, maybe this is why I can't find a wife. That's not why. This, this man is just mad that they can't have me, beloved. They don't want to change their ways. They sit in their ways. They don't even think that if they were to have you, they would be able to change their ways. They just want to test the waters. And that's why you can never allow this man to have your heart. Because they just want to test your waters. And they know damn straight what has them. Them harlots. They have this man. Ties and all. This is a man that they be walking around as a businessman in a broad daylight, right? In their day-to-day -day life. But in the nighttime, they be slutted out by these holes. This is a man that's very, it's like, ew. It's like they have no self-respect, like. I'm being called to stand and pick it up. So. We have the Will of Fortune here. All right. I placed it on the Eight of Wands. Beloved, God is saying, this man was brought into your life to teach you about self-worth and self-love as a woman. Because I feel like this is a man that is willing to give you money, willing to give you stability but only just to sleep with you and have your energy. It's not real, it's not genuine, it's not true love. So God wanted to bring this man in to test you, your value that you have about yourself and who you are. And if you are going to stand your ground against a man like this who's willing to just woo you and slim dick, this is a man that has no moral virtue, like no moral compass, like, they let these females do anything to them. Now, you engaging with this man. Imagine dating a man like this. Like, you get bitches coming up to you in the grocery store thinking they know some because of a man giving their sexual energy to them. The man that you are with, the man that you do with, the man that you give yourself to should be a man that is willing to not only see and understand their mistakes, their wrongdoings, and the fact that ego is not the way. But also a man that is willing to change, not because of you, but because they see what's right. What's the high, um, what's the five of pentacles? Let's step into the ladies here. <laughs> this is a man with deep insecurities here. This is a man that hasn't worked on themselves. They just have money. And it seems like they tidy, they tidy up, they clean, you know, but this man's spirit, this man's ways, it's just, they fall from that, man. We have the judgment in the six of wands. We have the three of wands. We have the four of swords. It's like, this is a man that can't choose himself with the king of wands. They always choose their desires. This is a man that will drive an hour for their favorite sandwich, but will never accommodate a homeless person if they need help. This man's ego is the death of him. This is the type of man that has killed before. Let's just stop there. He ain't right. We have the death card. It's like this man's lifestyle, man, like, It's like they feel like being a man is about having control, having power, but being a man is about who you are as a person. Being a man is about the fact that a woman can wave tits and ass at you and you can still remain unaroused by the low vibrational whack ass. Because women like that aren't women. Women like that are other breeds of fair to tell that are comic. And you will get caught up your life trying to be with this man. What's the King of Cups reversed?
reverse. I mean, King of Cups here is not reverse. <clears throat> we have the world here. This is a man that they love harlots, right? Like, I don't know, man. We have the devil here. It's like they, they portray this, I'm in control, I'm this big businessman. But they letting women do whatever to them. It's like no self-respect here. And this is a man that isn't willing to change. Like I said, they just want to test your waters. See if they can entrap you in their energy. See if they can get you caught up somehow and be one of their people that they can just fuck. So God is saying, this man was brought in your life to teach you about self-worth, self-value. These are the type of men that because they flashy, they got the, the clean act, the clean self, or the clean whatever, they got money. It comes off as if they're okay, they things all together, but these are the types of men that be sick. This man is sick, beloved. They be getting themselves pooped on by these females and all types of things. And then they want to act righteous and act good and, and act a certain type of way. It's like the reason I can be myself and talk like this because I ain't got shit to hide. And I can call everyone out because I've walked a certain path of life. And it isn't nice when the truth is hidden. But it is what it is. This is filth. Well, the page of wants reverse clarify this here. Because I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing this man having visions of including you in all of this. Like, someone wants to include you in their little filth here. They think having power over women, having pussy power, is what makes a man. What's the Six of Pentacles here? It's like this is a man that the IQ is real low. As much as they might have this and do that and think they have that, like, if you look at the truth of who this man is and this man's life, Ain't nothing to this man that is of value. Ain't nothing to this man that can call in anything solid. <clears throat> Ain't nothing to this man here. This is a weak man, all right? That wants to blindside you with money here. And get you caught up in everything that they do. Because I feel like you're the type of person that is book smart. Or you, you're like intellectual, intelligent, like you're tapped in within yourself. You're not the type of breed of a woman this man is used to dealing with. So they want to use you as like, not only someone they can just take their sexual energy and like just sleep with, they also want to use your brains. This is a man that wants to use you and then maintain power over you. Like you need me, I don't need you, but you God help me though. This be that man. They want to be little to you, a narcissist. Make you feel like you don't got much to offer, but you got everything. You are the empress. We have the empress here. They just don't want you to see that. We have the moon reversed. They don't want you to see that in yourself. This is a man that would break down your womanhood to the point where they make you feel like nothing. If you ever, ever, ever allow them to play you like that, beloved. Because I feel like this is a man that will try and come up with a certain way of being to make you believe that they're a certain way. Or to enable you to see them in a particular way, but this is a man that within themselves, this is like someone that is gone. Like you would sleep in the same bed as this man every day and think that they're loyal because of that. But I'm talking about double lives. Because this is a man that is able to get themselves, get himself this way, get themselves this thing. It's like they have everything in their disposal. This is a man that has let money rule them to the point where they're a cunt, they're a narcissist, and they just see you as a prize and a position to have and to hold and to keep and to fuck and to abuse. God is teaching you about self-worth with this man. 
God is teaching you that it's not about the looks and the pretty face. It's not about the clothes and the attire that they choose to put on every day. It's about the spirit. Who is this man? How they ancestry looking like? Shoot. God is saying before you ever engage in anyone with regards to your energy, before you exert any sexual energy to any man, it gotta mean something, beloved. Like, let's talk about it. Like, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a man that does, it's not about the feet, it's not about the harlots. It's about the fact that when they're engaging with these harlots, they treat them, this man treats these women like nothing. I'm talking about when they engage sexually, it's like they even close their face and just, it's all about me putting what I'm putting in your up. It's like, when you get like that, you're a beast and you're feeding your own shit. And that's the truth of life here. That's life. That's the truth of life. When it don't mean nothing, that's when, you, like, it's not okay, you guys. Like, your energy is going to be way distorted. You're not even going to know who you are in spirit. Like, exerting your sexual energy is exerting yourself. You're giving yourself. And you're going to start to feel maybe another person's insecurity. Like I said, this is an insecure man. See, but this man, you feel insecure. You start to check yourself out differently. And you start to think it's you. But it's not you. It's the dick slinging and the pussy popping. That's why God wants to teach everyone to preserve their energy. Not because, like, this is what's right. This is because, y'all, it's the smart thing to do. Giving yourself away. You want, you want to be skinny? You want to be, you want to have AIDS, STDs? You want your little urinary tract to stink? So I'm saying, watch yourselves. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from the biggest UOD. I hope you took it to the chest. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. If you are keen or interested in booking me, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I'm sending you love, honesty, evolution, and healing in the name of Jesus. Amen.